finally, I want to take you into the character ribbon. And boy, I've been using this a lot with my Swedish ancestors, but the same is going to be true for, for our German. I'll open up the data entry screen here. And any time I need to use uh, one of these characters, here on my character ribbon, I think I've got a default set of six of them. And if I need one of them that's on this ribbon, I just click once, and it shows up right where my cursor was. So I just click, and that's how they show up there. If I want to add other commonly used characters for who I'm currently working with, click on this blue box. That opens up the, uh, I don't know, the character map. And you can... Uh, click on the letter that you want and right here it tells you that if you want to just manually type that letter on your keyboard then I'd have to push the alt button and also 0229 so let's just do that just for fun so I'm gonna push alt 0229 and it will uh, type that character there going back if I want to use that one over and over and over I could click where it says return characters well, and it and it adds that there. I was wondering if I double click here. Yeah, if you double click on it, it will add it to your character ribbon. Do you see how it did that up there? Let's get this. Uh, let's get this O that I use often. I'll double click on it. It shows up. I think there's room for eight of them. Oh, I forgot to. Here, I'll click return characters. Yeah, so now all eight of those show up here. So those should be available anywhere you can do data entry. So I'll click on my Notes tab. And you see how it shows up right here as well. So there you have it.